One soldier died and more than 20 others were wounded in a rocket attack on Camp Liberty last week. The terrorist rocket landed next to a gazebo, killing the soldiers sitting inside, about 30 feet from the PX trailers. I fought the crowd back in and came over here and picked up a whole bunch of basically anything I could get. Tape, gauze, cotton balls, band-aids, hydrogen peroxide, grabbed some shirts off the racks and stuff and headed back out. And uh, I gave it to some of the guys that were helping out. When the rocket hit, those closest to the front of the PX went outside to assist the wounded while others were led to the bunker behind the building. I could see the soldiers were had taken control about here, but I was very proud of the way our APHIS associates reacted inside. In less than two minutes, they had the entire building evacuated. Our associates were in bunkers behind the building and at the side of the building. Imagery from the PX security cameras just moments before the attack show a large number of personnel inside the store. When the rocket lands outside, those in the store hear the blast and feel the impact. Shelves collapsed and instincts took over. That was probably the loudest thing I've ever been close to. And uh, there was dust everywhere. And everybody, as soon as that hit, like nine-tenths of the store hit the ground. And look, everybody was, everybody was laying on the ground. The PX delayed opening the next day by only two hours and offered full service operations. As a result of the attack, customers may see a slightly different security posture in and around the exchanges in the near future. Uh, we were asked by the, by the VDOC to uh, curtail any kind of gatherings outside the PX. So our movie nights and, and, and uh, live concerts that were being held outside the PX are going to be put on hold for, for a while. Tompkins agreed that while the loss of life was tragic, he was impressed by the manner in which the service members in and around the store reacted to protect one another and offer assistance to those who needed it. Damage to the store itself was minor, and Tompkins said inventory loss was minimal. Reporting for AFN Rock, I'm Specialist Daniel Sullivan.